loves today i'm going to compare these two bags they are both mini bags one is the lambskin in black chanel mini and the other one is the coral gabriel bb from moana let me uh, first measure the bags for you and then i'm gonna show you what's the difference with the sizes and uh, i'm gonna show you what fits in each bag and which one holds more items the thickness is almost the same and the length in the bottom is also almost the same first i'm gonna start with the mona bb this bag is so stunning you can actually play with it and put the bag charm it will look so beautiful with the bag charm and this is their taupe saffron color and you can get it hat stamp from the store and it is for free this is a carrot calf leather in comparison to hermes this is their version of epsom leather it is so beautiful it looks well built it's very light and it's user friendly very easy to carry now to open it you have to turn the lock upside down and it opens like this the interior lining is a uh, beige leather it's nice and smooth it has the luxurious feel so inside and out are both leather and it has very nice detailed stitching inside inside is like a beige stitching as well outside the stitching is same color as the bag it has the stamp here and i still have the plastic cover on it in here you can see all the screws very well installed in there the construction of this bag is very nice also the difference is that the strap is detachable with chanel you cannot detach the strap so this one has a detachable strap and it's also adjustable here so you can adjust it to how it fits you and the nice thing about it is that all the hardware is made of palladium the real palladium hardware even the ones in the handle while the hardware for chanel is just uh i don't know what kind of metal they used to do 24 karat or gold plating but this one is just um regular metal as well as the strap so the strap is not detachable and to open the bag you have to twist it and open it this way and it has the logo inside but then it's very different with mona these are two very different because one with chanel is just like one piece of metal whereas these four screws right here are actually separate it's not part of the big hardware so it's very detailed and beautifully installed one by one so that's a big difference there so i would usually just close it this way open it this way and then use the handle on top here to close it and it sounds like an expensive car so very stunning so you could really feel the luxury just by the turn locks Mona is known for the turn locks of their bags it's very iconic it's very hard to replicate and uh, I think it is very well made with the real palladium and gold plating 
hardware if you get it this one in gold mona is uh almost 22 in the bottom but it slopes like a trapezoid the top of the bag is and the height of the bag is about 15 15 and a half about 8.75 and the middle is about a 75.5. This one is 20.5 centimeter. The top flap is about 20 centimeter. And here on top, about six almost 23 inches and the interior of the bag is all lambskin leather as well it has a small pocket in here and another zip pocket in here and it comes with this authenticity card I didn't even know that it was there. Serial number of the bag in there, in the small little corner. So I've actually worn my Mona bag more than this Chanel bag because this is just so delicate and it's also very expensive. The price is about in the same range at around 4000 But I just think that this price justifies more with what it offers than this bag totally two different bags and it just depends on what you prefer but for the pricing this is like asking way too much for what it offers i think it's overly priced but of course because chanel is very popular and also the thing with this is they make a lot of these possibly hundreds or thousands of pieces that was already made with this style of the bag with mona it's more exclusive because they only make 10 pieces of each color and that's it they don't make it again unless if you like to special order the bag the exact same color and hardware then you have to special order them it takes about six months to finish and you have to pay extra 20 percent so that means there's not going to be so many look alike with you all over the world because there's only going to be 10 available with each size and this uh, color compared to this where this is so popular and a lot of youtubers own this bag and yeah it's been around for a long time as well and it's um, mass produced now let's go on to what fits on these bags if i put an organizer inside the bag i found a small organizer like that but it's not exactly the same size well, this one, I don't have to measure the, the length of the strap because it's adjustable and so you can adjust it. To this is a bit overstuffed because I have the organizer in there too. So this leather is a carrot calf and it's very durable, just like the Epson leather. So you won't be scared to make some deformity in here while you're using the bag as long as you rest it this is what fits in the bag but i think without the organizer the bag can breathe a bit more so in here i have my chanel wallet card holder and then i have my kirigami with coins and money inside and then i have my key clay with my keys in here quite quite thick so 
and then i also have four other card holders so it can fit a lot and i have a cell phone it's the iphone 7 plus so and of course it has the organizer i also found another organizer that i'm planning to use with my chanel mini this one is the one i use for mona which is uh, smaller but because this is more like a rectangular shape and it doesn't uh, slope so it's just a straight rectangular so i think this organizer will be perfect in this bag so i'm gonna stuff it and i will show you well with the organizer only this stuff can fit in here and uh key clay which is really thick phone doesn't fit and i can barely barely close it so i have to actually remove so this one is also out so we just have this and you can probably stick a lipstick in here now it's closed but it, it looks really bulky and uh, the lambskin is so delicate this tree cannot fit with the organizer so let's remove the organizer and maybe we can have more room okay so this one cannot fit but uh this is what i have four card holder one smallest kirigami my thick key clay and my cell phone so let's see if it can close yes so it's a big difference if you take the insert out and this one has the little pocket in the back so i guess if you have extra card you can put it in there i wear this a lot more really and it's scratch free i bang it everywhere i never got a scratch for it and this one the first day i wear i had a little scratch in here the very first day i was so annoyed because i think the shape of the bag this slopes like a trapezoid in the bottom when the bag hits as uh, the wall it will hit the corners first so it's hard for for it to scratch the hardware because of the shape of the bag it slopes in here so if you bang it then it will go towards the corner and then also i forgot to show the bottom has four feet i still have the plastic in there i'll just leave it there very nice that the shape of the bag makes it less likely for the turn lock to get scratched while chanel bag is just like a regular square with almost the same uh shape from top to bottom and it has that sticking turn lock which is the very first one that will cut the wall if you were to hit the bag so that's what happened to me so big difference and so let's remove them all so if i did not use uh, insert with the mona bag it will also fit all this on this mini bag that's a lot with the insert this will not go with it this is what fits in the bag as far as i remember with the insert these are all that fits in the bag without the insert this is what fits the chanel mini bag i hope you will write comments below which one you prefer in my opinion, I can use the Mona bag every day, carefree, very light. And Chanel bag, I would only use for special occasions, like an evening bag, possibly, but not a daily 
bag because it's just very delicate this coral bag i also wear for evening and daily and a special occasion so it's actually an all around bag and all year long bag <laughs> this one too but it's just so delicate i can get the most use of this mona bag more than this bag and this bag is really so worth it with the money that you pay so i prefer this bag so so much more so let me know what you prefer i like a bag where i could use and uh, get my money's worth not something that i feel very stressed when i take them with me and i feel like i have to baby them i just don't like that feeling so yes i will go for mona i'm sorry miss chanel <laughs> It's just a, a bag for investment, I think, and more for like collection and nice on your closet. She's also beautiful. I mean, they're two different bags, totally different, uh, different. So it's hard to decide that I have different feelings for each one of them. But if I would buy another color of the bag, I would uh, prefer to buy more of these actually i have one in purple and i'm gonna do a comparison of that bag as well with my chanel jumbo all right so that is it for my video today i hope you learned something and you enjoyed watching this comparison video let me know in the comment down below which bag would you consider to buy or which one do you think is priced fairly and which one is more beautiful and which one you can use daily i hope you enjoyed and learned something and you share my video to your friends take care bye bye